Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. I am so happy to bring you this video because it is the end of the year and we are saying goodbye to 2020 once and for all. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to take you through my fleet, show you my vehicles and all the projects you can expect to see in 2021. All right, guys, we're going to kick this thing off by looking at my 2010 Jeep Commander. It has got the 5.7 Hemi, and I love this thing. We call it Black Booty. You got another Black Beauty. That's right. There it goes. Now you got two Black Booties. What, Black Booty? <laughs> <laughs> that never gets old. So, yeah, we got the Thule Pot on top. I had a stowaway in the back. We took it for a nice trip for uh, Thanksgiving. Did about 1,000 miles, and... Uh, I am battling a EVAP leak issue and it's driving me crazy. Uh, I took it to my buddy Gabe and uh, he did the smoke test to get this thing checked out and there is not one single leak in the EVAP system with the smoke test. So of course we changed the gas cap, got a new gas cap on, but it's still saying check gas cap and if you don't check your gas cap it will eventually lead to a check engine light and that's what I have right now. I can't get rid of it. I even replaced the purge valve and still nothing. So it's driving me crazy. I don't like the check engine light on this thing because then you can't auto start it and it doesn't go into its economy mode where it shuts down a couple cylinders on the highway it saves you a lot of money so here's my fix for that in the meantime all right what we're gonna do is we're gonna get my little repair kit I'm gonna pop the hood and here we go we're gonna open our persistent check gas cap evap code repair kit so what I got in here simple 10 millimeter ratcheting socket and what i did was i soldered a wire to two alligator clips and here's how you fix that issue well it's not a fix it's a temporary fix what i'm going to do is open this terminal uh, take off the negative terminal lefty loosey righty tidy boom tuck that away Gotta take off this terminal. Now, very important, do not touch the battery. Make sure they're completely separated and isolated. And then you could go ahead and you connect the two. There, just like that. Positive to ground. We're gonna drain the system of all its energy. Uh, give it a couple minutes and then we'll check back with this and we'll see that the check gas cap light is gone. All right, we got the terminals connected. We're gonna let the energy dissipate and move on with the rest of our video. Uh, while we're in the front, I also replaced the low beam and the fog lights with Bosla bulbs. So I got LEDs in here. They're the four-way bulbs that switch from uh, bright white to a uh, yellow-white mix, then all yellow, and then the fourth setting is a flasher on the yellow. So these things are all hooked up. And if you guys wanna get LEDs like this, head over to Bosla.com, put in the discount code Dan H at checkout, and you could get 10% off. So these two take the same bulbs. They're both 9006 bulbs. So uh, yeah, those are in there. That's looking really good. And another issue I had was when we got our snowstorm, a, a giant chunk of snowy ice slid down here while the wiper was up in the uh, save me from snow position, and the ice just came crashing down. <laughs> ripped the wiper right off. So I did a wiper change video, and uh, if you guys wanna see that, I'll post it. It's not too exciting, but it shows you how to replace a wiper when just the nib is left on the vehicle. So that's that. Pretty much it for the Commander. I love this thing. Uh, if you haven't seen my catch can video, check it out. I did a catch can on this thing, and after one year, just about 10,000 miles, the catch can caught eight whole ounces of oily blow-by. So that is the Commander. Now let's take a look at the WJ. All right, guys, here is my WJ project. I've been calling it the Green Hornet because I kept getting swarmed by hornets while I was working on this thing. Now, this thing is a runner. It's a driver, came a long way, and uh, I am really happy to be able to drive this thing on the road now. Well, there's a little problem with that. See, I physically can drive it on the road because everything runs and drives really great. I even did my two inch rough country suspension lift. Yep, 
However, I cannot legally drive it because I don't have a title for it. Ooh, that's still in the works. I got a Vermont title and a Vermont registration for this thing. So I am waiting on that stuff to come in the mail because as you guys know, the disaster that 2020 was prevents a lot of uh, facilities from being running. Uh, don't mind that plate. That's just to keep the man off my back while it's parked in the driveway. I don't want any summonses for having a bunch of unregistered vehicles parked by the front of the road. So yeah, here we go. This is, uh, this is my WJ. It's really nice. Uh, well, it's getting nice. See, that's what I do. I take $300 crap vehicles and I fix them up and I make them nice. And uh, why, why mess around with a rusty old Jeep with 170 thousand miles well because I can because I enjoy restoring vehicles as you guys know I did that to the Grievous so I restore them I bring them back to life and uh, I, I show you guys how to do stuff you know um, sharpens my skills my automotive skills keeps me on my toes uh, keeps the brain sharp <laughs> it really kicked my ass when I was trying to figure out that hydraulic fan solenoid code but um, we, we manage that one running and driving actually this jeep also has an evap leak but uh unlike the commander which is rust free and has perfect lines i'm sure there's a, a rotten line with a giant hole somewhere in there but here we go the uh exterior is just about good and now what's left is the interior so here we go the interior definitely needs some love and good thing I have a whole set of black interior. Uh, I also got new door cards because this is it's shot. I can't stand it. Uh, there's also some electrical issues going on in the boot. We'll have to address that. Uh, what else? Oh, I replaced all the trim in this vehicle. If you guys want a video on how to replace this trim, these two are really easy. The one around the radio, radio bezel, this trim is easy, just pops off. But this trim, this is a real B to get to. Um, it'd be kind of weird making a whole video <laughs> just replacing this trim. So maybe I'll do a, a WJ interior refresh video and include that. So there we go. This is going to be really nice inside when I'm done with it. And then uh, hopefully... I will get my plates. <laughs> I could drive it. Uh, we're gonna have to address some rust. Maybe we'll make running board rock guards. But yeah, so that's the WJ in a nutshell. Very blessed to have it. I always wanted a WJ. This thing was definitely a score, but we put a lot of work in it, getting this thing running and driving. And once I get my plates, and I put about 500 miles on this thing, it is getting an oil flush and we're gonna put in some AMS oil. Yeah, baby. Always wanted to try AMS oil. I heard great things about it. And Chris from Watson Synthetics hooked me up with some AMS oil. He also threw in a Fumoto drain valve so I could change the oil without messing with the drain plug. You just pop open the valve, it comes with a tube. You could just drop it into an oil pan. Mess free, that's exactly what I need because I always make a mess. Actually, me plus my sloppy vehicles <laughs> destroy driveways. So yeah, maybe I'll do the driveway in 2021. That would be awesome. But yeah, thank you, Chris. Really appreciate that. Um, if you guys want, he will hook you up with a discount code. You could pop in Dan H, something like that. I'll let you know in the video, but you'll get a, a discount on some Amsoil products. So there we go. Looking forward to good things in 2021 with this WJ. And yeah, on to the ZJ. gentlemen the general grievous zj uh wh what can i say about this vehicle it has been amazing this i got it for free uh, a couple years ago yeah this was a free z i got a free zj needed a lot of love rebuilt the front end uh had a front end collision and we took care of that and man i, I can't say enough about this thing I, I love this vehicle it is a great driver it's so smooth um the suspension is very soft. It's got the coils all around. 
Typical ZJ, I'm locked out. <laughs> there we go. We are back. All right. Yeah, I did the interior swap with a 5.9. So we got the 5.9 trim. Uh, still missing the shifter and the uh, other stuff that's supposed to be all leather. But whatever. No big deal. Uh, it would be nice to have a console armrest with the leather. But it's all right. This is looking good for now. And I, I just I can't say enough about the ZJ. I really love it. Again, it's got all four coil springs all around, paired with this amazingly soft interior. It's like I'm driving on a bubble, uh, a 22-year-old bubble, but nonetheless, <laughs> it has been fantastic. And this thing takes everything I throw at it. Oh. I put the seats down because this is like my work vehicle. Make a lot of Home Depot runs with this thing. <laughs> Always packing this baby out. I am not in some kind of kid's clubhouse. No, I am in the General Grievous ZJ and it is packed out full of wood because I don't have a pickup truck. So I'm using the General. It even fits my new General Grabber tires. So this is just a great vehicle. Again, I can't say enough about it. So that's my General. It's finally sitting on Generals. We got my Ultra Star wheels wrapped in General Grabber, ATXs, and this baby will get lifted in 2021. I promise you that. The only thing I haven't decided is what kind of lift. I wanted to go with a two inch spring lift all around, just do the springs uh, front and back, but uh, maybe I'll do a three inch lift. I'm not really sure where I wanna go with it. Nothing crazy. I still want it to be a driver. It's the perfect vehicle. That's why I haven't done much to it because it doesn't need anything. I, I know the, the squeaky wheel gets the oil. <laughs> this hasn't needed any oil, except for the transmission oil. So General Grievous decided to blow transmission line. Check out that video. That was a pretty wild side of the road fix. But yeah, there's the ZJ, completely happy with it. I love it, uh, so let me know what kind of lifts you want. Nothing crazy like eight inches. <laughs> That's that. Uh, other things you could expect from this vehicle in 2021 is a headliner and uh, a sunroof fix. I still haven't done that. So that's the general onto Black Beauty, the original, the one and only. So here is my Black Beauty XJ, looking good. This is the front fender that I replaced recently and I dinged in the process because I am an idiot. <laughs> you can check out that video if you want. I utilized a really cool tool. It is the antenna removal tool. So that helps a lot when you're replacing the antenna side. But uh, as you can see, these tires, they're starting to dry rot. And some of you might be jumping for joy because I was thinking of putting on the Icon wheels. I think I'm gonna restore this back to the stock Icon 16 inch wheels. Those are the original wheels. And uh, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not totally done with these wheels. I'll keep them around, but I think we'll change it up a little bit. So the brakes, let's talk about the brakes for a minute. All right, guys, I know I promised you a rear disc swap on this vehicle for a long time. I did it in the uh, five things I hate about my XJ. I dropped the hint that I was going to do the brake conversion back then. I also started to do the parts preparation video. And then what happened was I got the WJ. Yeah, I, I know. Um, so I actually brought this thing into the backyard. I brought it onto the slab and I looked at it and I saw some rust and I was like, if I'm going to lift it off the ground, take the wheels off, I might as well treat the rust with it. And then not only would I have Black Beauty out of commission, but then I also have that WJ sitting here out of commission. Plus I got Project Rec J and that's out of commission. So I decided I would fix the WJ before I took this apart. So now that the WJ is fixed, I can actually get around to doing the brakes on this. So we will have an XJ rear disc brake conversion in 2021. That's coming, I promise you that. Uh, I don't have the WJ uh, blocking me anymore. <laughs> it's nice to be able to move vehicles around on your property without having to push them. So uh, I eliminated that problem. No more pushing of the WJ. I can shuffle cars around and I will get Black Beauty the disc brake soon. 
trust me, I want to get these disc parts out of my garage just as much as you want to see them on the vehicle. And uh, here's a little sneak peek of things to come too. Oh yeah, this is a Durango master cylinder. So we're going to put that on Project Black Beauty very, very soon. All right, so I got a running XJ, a running ZJ, a running WJ, and a running XK all in the front, ready to go at the turn of a key. And uh, as we say bye-bye to Blue, oh, poor Blue, just been sitting there. <laughs> as we say goodbye to that poor Mustang in the front, we are going to leave all the running and driving vehicles up there. We're going to walk to the backyard, and we're going to take a look at the vehicles that are in progress, such as this. Here we go. Project Rec J. Oh yeah, another XJ. My goodness, guys. That's right, guys. In case you didn't know, Project Rec J runs and drives. It's not well. <laughs> All right, it's too loud. I gotta turn this off. There we go. Project Rec J. Needs some interior work, obviously. Uh, needs some door work, obviously. Uh, gotta re-weld the hinges on, put a new hinge pin in. That should be good to go. Uh, these wheels, these are gonna be up for sale soon. Uh, they're very cool, but I don't like them. And uh, they are like classic early 90s wheels. Um, this vehicle has some rust. <laughs> I'm gonna have to uh, address again. This might get two by six um, uh, rockers, so we'll fix those rockers. Um, again, these side steps are going too. Uh, the main issue. Ah, this is the main issue. This front quarter panel is mangled on the inside. But it's okay, I got sheet metal for it. We will replace the bumper support bracket right there, and then we'll replace this part in here, and it's gonna be awesome. Why is it gonna be awesome, you're asking? Because this is your XJ. You guys get to decide what goes on this one. Uh, let's go off-road, let's go big, we'll go home, we'll do crazy mods, I don't care. It's really not worth anything to me now i got my black beauty i got my beach jeep which we'll talk about in a minute so this is the uh the anything goes xj uh all i did with it so far was replace these rear vent windows but you can check out that video on how to replace those windows and that's it guys this is uh this is pretty much a blank slate i got it to run so uh it needs it needs a little couple things here and there um I definitely need some interior work and I can show you how to do uh, an overhead console on this thing because uh, well it had one but it's been cut out so we'll do a OHC we can talk about that uh, a bunch of other stuff that I can discuss with you on this but you'll have to wait till 2021 and uh, yeah so this is project rec J again this took a back seat to fixing the WJ because I needed a running and driving vehicle. Otherwise, my wife would have made me sell it. And no, I'm keeping it. It's mine. <laughs> we'll, we'll sell it down the road after it runs and drives. I can't sell garbage, people. You know that. Got to fix it. So that is that. And where am I getting that sheet metal to fix that front quarter panel? Well, that's in this tent. And uh, we'll discuss that along with the mangled pipes over there once we get inside here. What the heck is this thing, guys? Well, this is a little joke. This is something I did with the two halves of the vehicle that I have remaining from Beach Jeep. Yes, if you haven't known, I've been uh, chopping up XJs this last uh, couple months. And uh, I brought home the scraps, and I was tired of having two half Jeeps immobile in my yard. Uh, Welded them together, and now I have a rolling Mini XJ. So <laughs> I posted this on Instagram a while back as a joke, and it exploded with comments. People wanting to see me build this as a real 
running and driving Jeep. So who knows, maybe one day we'll get a little golf cart XJ going. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it's crazy, but uh, I think I'd rather use it as part. So what I'm going to take from it is this. I'd like to harvest this uh, bumper support. Uh, it's a radiator uh, mount. It's the bumper support. It kind of ties the vehicle in together. It's nice to have a, a square one for Project Rack J. And this is what I need. I need this front quarter piece. So I will drill out all these spot welds. I will take this piece as a whole and I will graft it to the front of Rack J. And there we go. That is going to be that. Um, if I could bend that back into shape, maybe I'll tack it onto here. I, I don't know. <laughs> if you guys want to see it, I guess I could build it. But that's going to be uh, down the road. So um, while this was in the tent being stored in that same heavy snowstorm that broke the wipers off the Commander, well, it also collapsed this, uh, this tent over here. It mangled all these poles. Here are some pictures of that. It was definitely a crazy snowstorm. It started out as heavy snow, then it turned to rain, which soaked into the snow, and then that froze again. So I had thick layers of ice that just collapsed this roof, which bent my Mini XJ and also ripped the wipers right off the Commander. And thank God it did not crush any of my parts. So here is my parts tent, pretty packed out. And of course, there's more in my basement. <laughs> I got all the uh, weather susceptible parts in the basement. A lot of these parts are going on Beach Jeep. What's not on Beach Jeep will probably go to Rec J and then I'm selling everything else unless it goes on the Mini XJ. <laughs> but I gotta sell it all and uh, I can't wait to show you Beach Jeep. It's coming out great. So, I think we will leave this tent, we'll go plug in our Commander battery, and then we will take a ride. I'll give you a sneak peek of Project Beach Jeep, finally. Alright, that's it guys. All you really need is a few minutes. Uh, half an hour should be plenty. So we're just going to reconnect these battery terminals. There we go. Check engine light should be gone. There we go. System okay. Now. It's better to reset it with the battery terminal trick than it is to do the OBD2 scanner clear because that will just pop on the code uh, minutes later. This actually clears it for a couple weeks at a time. So all you need is some wire and 10 millimeter and that's it. That should be good for another couple weeks or until I actually put the time in to solving what's really going on. All right, let us go see Beach Jeep, finally. All right, here we go, off to see Beach Jeep. Now, for you guys who don't know, there it is. Oh man, ladies and gentlemen, if you have not seen this vehicle yet, allow me to introduce Beach Jeep. The whole reason why I started this YouTube channel was to make Beach Jeep. I wanted to build and, and document, document an off-road off XJ. XJ capable of handling itself on the beach with my family in it, holding all the gear we need for a, a nice day at the beach on the shores of Long Island where I live. And well, we had uh, a fourth child, so. That kind of makes Beach Jeep um, in a Cherokee a moot point since Cherokees are only five seaters. What am I gonna do with that extra kid? You can't fit four kids, well, I guess you can, but legally you cannot drive <laughs> with four kids in the back seat of an XJ. So um, the plans for that kind of went out the window. I'm not going to scrap this project. I love XJs way too much to give up on my family beach jeep. So I've been thinking long and hard about a way to kind of reinvent this project. I had a crazy idea about a year and a half ago on how to make my dreams come true having my XJ beach jeep. And well, it involved taking my four-door beach jeep that I already had, uh, gutting it completely, and then adding a two-door Cherokee parts car, which I got last year from a salvage auction that had the, the front end accident. Now this two-door XJ is gonna be crucial to my beach jeep build. This is going to allow me to fit all four of my children in an XJ. And uh, I took both my XJs, uh, 
I brought him to a fabricator. I found uh, a Paul. He's a uh, he's a fabricator that could do the job for me. <laughs> I wasn't gonna take on this project myself with my Harbor Freight 125 welder. I wanted a professional fabricator to uh, to mate my four door XJ with my two door XJ and make uh, make an XJ the world has not yet seen before. And it's coming out great, guys. It's a slow process. Gonna wanna make sure it's done right. There's a, a lot of fine tuning that has to be done to it, but it's a custom one-off. It, it's pretty incredible. When it's done, hopefully this thing will look like a stock XJ. Uh, he's been calling it an XJ ESV, like the Cadillac. I've been calling it uh, an XJ Unlimited, like the Wranglers that were a little longer. Uh, Bug from It's a Bug's Life is calling it X-Jet, XJ Extended Truck. And uh, there's many ways we could go with the name here. Uh, XJ Max, like the Expeditions, but it's basically going to be a, a long XJ. Still, still gonna be a four-door XJ, four-wheel drive, manual, and uh, yeah, the 4.0 in it, obviously. So we're gonna try to build it stock. I want it to be completely stock looking, and uh, it might it might take a, a double take to see what's actually been modified. So it's coming out really well, and enough talking. I will show you uh, a little taste of, of Beach Jeep. So thank you guys for being patient with me. It's been a couple years, but Beach Jeep is on its way. All right, let's take a look. All right, guys, this is it. Here we go, Beach Jeep. It is two halves of an XJ, made it together, and it's just a skeleton right now, but she's coming along. And speaking of long, this thing is really long. It's got the wheelbase of an Escalade. So that's it. If you're wondering what I was gonna do with the doors, boom, here we go. We got a custom second row of doors, so this is still a four-door XJ. Looking good. He's doing a great job with the fabrication. So the front is going to be stock, and uh, inside is going to look stock. We're gonna have a stock dash and uh, stock front seats, but we're gonna have a middle row, and then we're gonna have a little, little bit of extras on the bottom. We got some bracing, and uh, that's going to be it for this preview, so look forward to more Beach Jeep in 2021. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video, and as the sun sets, that's going to do it for the year 2020. The year with the riots, the COVID, the presidential election, and all that madness. <laughs> I am happy to say goodbye to that. It doesn't necessarily mean that when the sun comes up in the morning, that all our problems will disappear. But you know what? I'm going to trust God. He is still in control. The same God that put all the stars in the sky knows exactly how many hairs are on your head. So that being said, I'm going to keep trusting in him and I'm going to look forward to more fun Jeep projects in the year 2021 with you guys. So that's it. Remember to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next year. Peace. Have a happy and healthy new year from the project to you. Peace.